As I've taken my own journey of self-discovery, I've realized the tremendous potential journaling can have in your life. Journaling is just not about writing down your thoughts on a piece of paper and just writing down things for the sake of writing them down. Journaling, it's much more profound than that. It's a therapeutic process that allows you to become more self-aware and therefore allows you to be more productive. Here are some of the ways I journal to become more productive. The first way is just free writing. Free writing is a concept that just stands for literally just writing anything that comes to your mind. Free writing is just like leashing your mind and allowing it to run wild. Just write whatever comes to your mind, how you feel, your emotions, your everything. Just write everything on that piece of paper and don't overthink it. There's no need for structure. There's no need for proper grammar. There's no need for none of that. Your journal is your sanctuary, it's yours. There's no need for any other revisions. It's just you expressing how you feel on a piece of paper. You know, it can be hard to start free writing sometimes, so a prompt that can help you a lot is just how are you feeling and why are you feeling that way? You don't know where to start. Just ask yourself that simple question and you'll be able to kind of decipher yourself on how you feel. The whole point of asking yourself this question is to just inquire on yourself. Sometimes you may feel like you don't know how you feel. Sometimes you may feel like you don't feel anything. Put that down in the piece of paper. I don't feel anything. I don't feel happy nor sad. I feel okay. Just put that in that piece of paper and just write down why. Do you feel happy? Why do you feel happy? What do you do today that allow you to feel happy? Or you feel sad? Why? Why do you feel why do you feel sad and what made you sad? What was the cause that you are sad? You know? It can get a little bit complicated sometimes, but whatever. Just write down your thoughts. Write write down how you feel. The whole point of being able to free write is just to be able to get your thoughts from your mind into the paper. So that will allow you to clear your mind and be able to focus on tasks. One of the main problems that I found on myself that I'm not able to focus is just that I have too much things in my head. So this way of journaling allows me to be able to just get all those stats out of my head into the paper. Try that for a few days. Journaling is like any other skill. You have to be consistent with it in order to get better at it and identifying your emotions and feelings. This method of journaling won't work for everybody. Some people need a little bit more structure. There's no wrong or right way of journaling. That's something I just do personally, free writing, that allows me to kind of put my mind still and be able to focus on tasks, therefore increasing my productivity. The next structure of journaling is something that I took from Ali Abdal, which is called the highlight of your day. Every single night, you should plan your day ahead. Um, in your journal, digital, or physical and really matter what type of journal you have if it's digital in your computer or it fits in a physical notebook i personally do both some days i feel like writing on my computer some days i feel like writing on my journal it doesn't really matter it's just being able to express your thoughts into something that stays there and that you're able to read later on how lot of your day consists of just finding that one task that if you accomplish it will yield the most results concept of the highlight of your day is paired with the Pareto's principle, which consists that 20% of your actions yield the 80% of your results. So when you have an understanding of these two concepts, you're able to dial in your day and your to-do list, which is also a way of journaling, into a pivotal task. For example, the highlight of my day today was to script this video and record it as well. So it's just some, this will yield the most results to me in the long run. So that's why I did it. Having a clear highlight of your day every single day comes down to having clear goals for your life. For example, in my life, my goals are to do creative work full time. So doing YouTube videos, Instagram reel, just creating content as a whole. By the way, if you guys don't follow me on any of those platforms, go right ahead and follow me. Uh, links are in the description. But it's just I just want to be able to do creative work full time. So for me, it's really simple to pick what are the highlight of my days when it comes to creating content and all that because of what I'm doing. That's all I have for today, guys. Um, if you guys like this video, subscribe, like the video and share it with someone that may need it or that may find this information useful. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm just here trying to help you guys and trying to also help myself. So see you guys next video and hope you guys enjoy it. Let's make our dreams come true together.